From the Riffs! Welcome to From the Riffs. And we're here on the last day of the Palladium Open House. I'm Carmen Belair. Big Will's not here today because he had to go home early. I'm here with Kevin Sambita, the owner, uh, you know, head writer, editor, and general all-around god of Palladium. Uh, <laughs> if you like Palladium, he's the one you want to talk to. Um, both of us have been gaming for the last, you know, four days straight and talking and, you know, doing everything we can to make sure everyone has a good time. So our voices are a little raw. So if we sound a little off, that's why. And uh, just bear with us because we really wanted to do this, but we had to wait until basically things quieted down enough that Kevin had five minutes to actually sit and talk. So Kevin, can you please first introduce yourself to everybody? It says everyone knows your names on the books, but not everyone has got to see or meet you in person. Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Kevin Sambita. Uh, as Carmen said, I'm the publisher, founder, creator, game designer at Palladium Books. Um, let me answer one question right off the bat because a lot of people wonder how I pronounce my last name. It is Sembita. I pretty much answered anything with an S sound other than... Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, you can probably figure that out. Um, in Polish, because I'm Polish-American, um, it's Sembita, but that only confuses people. So Sembita, Kevin is fine. FYI, if you see me at a convention, you don't have to try to say my last name, just, you know, hi Kevin, it is fine. All right, so um, we're here at the open house, uh, everything's wrapping up now. Um, from your point of view, I mean, we, everyone here basically wants to talk to you. You're the center of the storm, the maelstrom, everything's spinning around you. Have you, have you had a good time doing it though? Oh yeah, I've had a great time. Um, it, it's funny, Part of it is I've been at this for so many years that you really do get kind of used to being, uh, I guess, sort of a public figure or a celebrity. It's still weird to me sometimes when people come up and say, oh my gosh, you're, you're a god, um, or you know, we love your book so much. Or, you know, it gets a little funky sometimes, but bizarrely enough, you, you get kind of used to it. Um, and you just don't let it go to your head. So, but yeah, but it's been great, and it, it is a little crazy because every time I turn around, I there's someone there who wants, you know, please sign a book, or, um, you know, I got a quick question, and it's never a quick question, or it's the first of, you know, 20 quick questions. <laughs> and, and, and so I feel bad, because I feel like I'm rude sometimes, because I'll be talking to, say, say Carmen, yeah. and then, um, you know, someone will ask me a quick question, and I'll go talk to them, and then, um, you know, someone else asked me a quick question, and, and the next thing I know, and, 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 you know, 20 minutes later, I'm like, oh, shucks, I was talking to Carmen, and, and, and either he's still standing there waiting patiently, <laughs> or, or they've gone off to, you know, do something else, and I feel bad, and that, that's the worst part, because I feel like I, I'm ignoring people sometimes by accident, but uh, no, it's great, and that's what we're here for, I mean, I, I just I just love role-playing, and as I've said a million times, Palladium Gamers are just, you know, the very best, and... Uh, everyone is just a joy to talk to. I've had so much fun talking to people and exchanging ideas and explaining why we do this or that. Uh, it's, it's great. It's been a blast for me. Um, with all these people <clears throat> running through, did you get an idea of the attendance for all these people you were talking to? Well, yeah. Um, we, uh, well, I know our advanced numbers, we had sign-ups for close to 200 people. Um, I'm not sure how many people walked through the door. My guess is we had somewhere between 200 and 250 people. Yeah. But that's people from all over the country too. I yeah. mean, they, they come from you know Canada and from coast to coast. And we had people here from uh, uh, we had two Germany. or three people from Germany. We had uh, I think three or four people from England. Uh, and that just, it amazes me when these people come from all over the place. And of course we I mean we had people from Nebraska and and. and Texas and Arizona and California and yeah. Maryland and you know uh, South Carolina. It, it, it amazes me that so many people come here. Canada, and, Canada. And, well, of course, Canada. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Canada. I didn't mean to leave Forget Canada us. out. Um, and uh, uh, you know, these Canadians. Um, no, we had a lot of people actually from from Canada, uh, and it just. 
I, I know. I, I to this day, I still find it amazing that people will come from these you know great distances, you know, just to game with me and the guys. Um, but it is fun, and it's like a big family reunion uh, every time people show up. Uh, so yeah, it's just awesome. Um, I was trying to get uh, an idea so that everyone knows of the kind of stuff that happened here. Um, you know, all the other writers and that, they, they were busy, you know, talking with people and that, but you were running around like Speedy Gonzalez on crack. <laughs> and, I mean, you you were, um, you know, giving panel talks. You were running multiple games every day. Um, you ran the auction. You uh, uh, see, uh, what do you call it, MC the, yeah, uh, the costume the, contest. The costume contest. Yeah. Um, I mean, you signed about a zillion books. And, you, you know, you did all this stuff. Did, uh, did you, eat, like, get any real time to, like, just sit and go, yeah, okay, guys, uh, I'm going to relax for a second and, uh, you know, let's just have a quiet talk, you know, somewhere. You know, or Because all, every time I saw you, it was, go, 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 go. That's an easy answer, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm here for. You know, right. I, again, all these people come from all over the place, um, from North America and beyond, and I want to be there for them. Uh, it's a little crazy, it's a little exhausting, uh, but that's what it's all about. All right. Did, uh, now this is like the third or fourth, right? I can't, I'm not even sure what open house this one is now. Actually, I think it's our, f yeah, it's the fourth or fifth. Oh, fourth or fifth. Yeah, right. I think it's our fifth. Okay. Um, did Can you give everyone an idea, since no one's really had videos um, up about it before, um, can you give us an idea, like, why you started the open houses, um, you know, how they've been going up to this point? I mean, uh, then there's there has been a couple lapses because you haven't been, sure whether you wanted to do right. one every year and there was a move of buildings in between yep. for one year and can you give everybody like a kind of a history of how, how it got going? Uh, yeah, it was actually something I, I wanted to do for, for quite a while. I thought it'd be really fun. Uh, and then we, uh, I, I don't know, I just finally decided to, to do it. I had Kathy to help. Uh, and she's huge and she caters our meals. Um, so so that so so that made a difference, and uh, I, I don't know. I just you know part of it is uh, you know even though I announced the crisis of treachery in, in two thousand six, um, we we discovered it a, a few months before, or several months before, and we were trying to get things done. And honestly, it was sort of my my goodbye to everybody. I, I kind of thought this was the end, and I wanted to have sort of a kind of secret going away party uh, where people could come in and, and help us out. So we set up the open house and um, and then it, things got even worse and we announced the crisis of treachery, uh, I think it was really just two or three weeks before uh, the first open house in 2006. And you know the outpouring was just uh, amazing. People were f fantastic and, and um, you know not, not just at the open house. We had that wonderful outpouring of uh, support from fans yeah. everywhere. It, I mean, just to this day, it's just mind-boggling to me. I mean, it was a miracle, and it was wonderful. And at the open house, of course, people people were amazing and bought all kinds of things and bought prints and art, T-shirts and everything. And it was just so much fun after that first time. I said, and especially after, you know, with with our fans' help, we were going to survive. It was like we gotta do this again because it's just, it's just great. And, and the thing is, Palladium fans are just so awesome. I, it, it, it's just so much fun. I, it's very much like going to a family reunion, but with without nasty <laughs> Uncle Ted and grumpy old Grandpa. I, it's just as fun. It's, it's with all these people you like, and you know a lot of people are surprised at how friendly we are and how down to earth I'm always hearing and this makes me proud of my guys I'm always hearing oh my gosh you know I your artists and your writers even Carmen <laughs> are just so nice and so down to earth I mean they're just like just like us and it's like well yeah <laughs> of course we are we're just goofball gamers just like you guys and, and we're into all the same things so you know we uh, it's, it's just a blast uh, and it's crazy and it's madness and it's like three days of just you know wild fun and gaming and, and talking and oh my gosh I signed so many autographs <laughs> it's unreal uh, but that's cool and, and I, I don't mind it I enjoy it um, what's what is weird and you talk about the quiet moment yeah. Carmen is 
after all this, like tomorrow morning when we come to the office, because right now, there's just, for the last four days, there's been this din, you know, it's just yeah. this, this, I was going to say a soft roar, but it's really a loud roar, and when we come in tomorrow, you'll hear tumbleweeds rolling across the floor, <laughs> you know, and it's just, it, it's just so quiet, it's kind of weird. Did, uh, can you give a, uh, you're saying that, you know, the, the quietness after the fact, what was it like trying to get ready for this thing, since, you know, there's not a huge Palladium staff, there's no. what, five? Yeah, there, there's five of us right now, um, it, it's crazy, uh, and that's part of it, it really, it, 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 it's kind of like running a marathon, because um, you're working the whole week before to get everything set up, and, you know, price products, and, and Kathy is working around the clock, literally on, on Wednesday she, she couldn't sleep and she's the one who's preparing the meals and VIP Thursday we have a you know this wonderful dinner that she prepares for like 150 people and she pretty much does it all single-handedly so I try to help her and there's all these other things to get set up and like this year Carmen made a, a bunch of miniatures for us and we didn't get the little baggies for it until the last minute and <clears throat> or not the baggies but the little hooks to put them on and you know, we're doing that at the last minute. And fortunately, we, we do get people to come in and volunteer and help us. But most of those people come in, like, Wednesday and, and yeah. Thursday. And you have to explain what has to be done. Yeah, exactly. So, so in fact, it, it's funny because uh, the, uh, Wednesday night, Kathy and I, you know, sit, sit down at, like, 11 o'clock at night. And we've been at the office all day since, like, 7 in the morning. And she says, tell me why we do this again. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. And then within five minutes of everyone starting to show up, it's like, this is why we do it. Because And that's the thing, too. It's like it's like almost nonstop laughter. I mean, part of that roar all weekend is you hear people laughing and laughing and laughing yeah. and talking and cheering and shouting and laughing, you know, shouting in a happy way. And it's just... The excitement and the positivity, it's absolutely electrifying. Yeah, I, I laugh myself raw. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there were some games where I, I could barely keep a straight face through the thing, even when I'm trying oh, to be yeah. serious. Yep. Um, well, you gave us an idea that, uh, you know, the the uh, the way the, the all the signing's going and, the, you know, you all, the, the MCing you did and, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, costumes and that kind of stuff. Um, when we come back, we're going to have to cut it here because we're just going to run out of time. Okay. But uh, when we come back, can you give us an idea of the games you were running? Oh, absolutely. Because anyone who's thinking about coming to the next open house, if there is a next open house, mm -hmm. are going to want to know what it is you can go and play with Kevin. Okay. Um, so I, I know you ran kind of like a, an ongoing thing, so we want to uh, you know get you to describe that. So we'll come back with part two in just a few minutes. Uh, this was From the Rifts with Carmen Belair. And Kevin Sambita. All right. See you back in a few. Game on.